like they didn't look good. Because remember, yeah, everybody whatever. says the massages is like worse than the actual surgery, which it's supposed to be. Like, but if they're doing that, that's kind of. Like and actually, that is incorrect, my friend. Oh, for real? Yes, ma'am. Um, yesterday, as a matter of fact, the next girl that I have on my live, um, later on this after after this beautiful doll right here, I got a girl that hurt. She was 24 hours yesterday, and she literally she came into the shop. She went into the lounge, and she was telling Diana. I'm scared. I'm scared. And I was literally giving her time to like, you know, settle in, whatever, fill out paperwork and shit. Yo, I went, I went in there and I was like, you ready? And she's like, no. I'm like, what? What are you scared about? She's like, honestly, I'm not, I wasn't scared of, I wasn't scared. Put everything in there, girl. I wasn't scared. Yeah. yeah. One more. more. Okay. Um, I wasn't scared of the surgery. I was more scared of the massages. Well, so then I was like. Right. And then I was like, well, you know, it just depends on where you go because not everybody knows how to do a proper post-op massage with, without hurting them. You know what I'm saying? So it's different. So the whole time, like when, when she was laying down, whatever, she was like tense, she was, you know, nervous, whatever. But literally within, I would say maybe like five minutes she was like this is it and i'm like this is it she's like what the fuck i can't believe it so i'm actually like super excited to do my next live because she's gonna be basically telling people from day one you know what i'm saying that's what i don't what... that but like you feel the difference oh my god but yeah. hello even bro what am i talking day, about you yeah. you went somewhere else for all of, for five days straight and then came to us so you you know the difference she knows yeah. the difference the first day that i left here like my waist went from like hit this to like whoop. yeah yeah, yeah yeah and then like i felt so much softer like i, I could like bend over remember i was getting like super back crazy. yeah you're so, yeah you were telling me yeah. that you now felt, it's like, like was... i i still do a little bit but remember i'm like i'm not sitting down all the way i'm still sitting down like regularly <clears throat> after next week which, when i'm six weeks okay um right now it's like what I'm five weeks okay but i just sit like if i'm having lunch or something okay got it got it yeah, yeah she should be standing all day at work no i'm telling you like you know, um, if she would have started here, she would have been like much, much better. You know, but Should've it's good okay. for the it's good for for the amount of time that you, what you this is your third session. Yeah. And on your second session, like you already seen on your first session, you saw a difference. On yeah. your second session, it was like night and day. Now you know what I mean? Yeah. Lift up for a second. Down. Oh, girl. It's soft Super soft, holy shit. Even my butt too, it's softer and yeah. Damn, I gotta work. And here. I can feel it like coming in. Like I'm seeing it like <laughs> smaller, smaller. They don't call me the real magic hands for nothing, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> shit. You know, sometimes I cause a little bit of pain, but a little bit of pain is good sometimes, you yeah? know? I have a question. Do you yes. do like the, you know, that body contouring that people do with like the little rollies or whatever without surgery? Have you seen that? What do you mean the roll? You mean the wood therapy? Yeah. Yes. Does that work? Yeah, you just have to be consistent and you have to work out and you have to eat right and you got to drink your water. So yeah, everything works. You just need commitment and you just need, you know, to stick to it. It's like an investment on your Yeah, too. just like, like when you get your nails done, your hair done, yeah. you go every two weeks, same shit. Like, you remember what we were saying last time that a lot of girls, like, they're not ready to spend the money on the massage. Upkeep, yeah. And what happens is that, like, they end up, like, paying, what, $65 or $85 to somebody at home. But it's like, you know, that's not sanitary. Not only that, but it's an investment to upkeeping. I'm not talking. This is the patient talking, okay? I'm my mouth is closed. You guys know the difference between my manly voice. <laughs> <laughs> it's like an investment of keeping yourself, you know? Like if you're gonna have money to do like the surgery, you gotta have money to do But I think a lot of people don't realize that it takes a lot more than it. it's not a surgery and then that's it, you know. Don't mind me while I dance because I promise you this girl right here, she don't even have no damn surgery. She's this girl's friend and she knows more about. Let me just shut my mouth up and let let me let me just let them talk in, in the live, yo. Because I didn't even realize it was on live. But no, honestly, um, <laughs> knowledge is power, man. I was just telling her that there's this girl that I know that she went to Evolution. Okay. And so I know two, three people that went to Evolution. Okay. And the second person that went told me that her homegirl, who I also know from the high school, okay, she had to get her surgery done a second time because. She wasn't even simply wearing her fama. 
What? Last time we talked about massages, but she wasn't wearing her faja. Mm-hmm. So what? she had to get it done a second time within like two, like one or two years. Oh my god. And that's crazy because, you know, it's not no minor thing. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Even just for your body to go under anesthesia is a big deal. You know what I'm saying? Yes. Yeah. Oh, I feel like the upkeeping is like the most important yeah. part because the surgery is cake. Just I mean, three hours you're done, but the upkeeping that shit is like you got to do it for like forever after, you know? Yeah, you said it forever. People, yeah. that's why when people ask me how many massages do you recommend, I'm like three hundred and sixty-five. Yeah. <laughs> Real talk. I mean, you know, I can't tell you five. I can't tell you seven. I can't tell you oh. The first five here, and then when you go home, just do seven or do ten. No, you literally have to maintain your body for at least six months after surgery. Like, you know, there's... And think about it. Not only that, but who the fuck doesn't want to get massages? Who the hell doesn't want to get massages? Exactly. You don't have to get a damn back transfer to get a fucking massage. Like, jeez. It's called self-care time, man. Like, you don't even got to get, like... like Body contour, when you can get like a regular freaking massage, is gonna make you feel good, man. De stress, yeah, bro. Yeah, because a lot of girls, like, I had this girl that she went to, you know, like my same doctor, but she's like, Oh, yeah, I got 10 massages, and I was like, Okay, well, oh, yeah, I got 10 massages. What about, now? What about the rest of the year? How is she looking? Her waist is like, she getting fat now. Mm. It's just, but I don't think it's fat, I just think she's not contouring you know yeah. because it's like your body if you don't train it it's gonna go back to whatever the fuck it was yeah if you don't maintain it it's gonna go back to yeah i need to get surgery again uh, who wants to do that shit all over again no. No, i don't know <laughs> i mean if i have and listen to- listen listen what i've come into the realization is that no matter how how many times you say, are you going to do this again? You're gonna, and everybody says no, they'll do it again if it's not looking right. <laughs> and they do it again when they forget that this shit hurts. Yeah, just like having kids. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Yo, what sign are you? What's Taurus? Fucking knew it. What's your sign? Cancer, me and Taurus is oh getting like this. We like this. <laughs> Yo, like I promise you. That's what happened to me, you know? Like, I have a 17-year-old. I have a 6-year-old, so that in whole team. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You yeah, forget. Girl. You forget what happens, and then it's like, do 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 You can remember Reminder. quick, though. Hell yeah. <laughs> but you remember how I was saying, too, like, last time? Like, this was my support system. Like, my husband, her, and my other friend. Good and shit. that's how I got, like, through it, really, like, the whole time, because <clears throat> I was just, I was good. I was, like, it was like I was just hanging out with my friends. Yeah? Yeah. Except the bending over. That got to her. What do you mean the the bending over? over. To like pick stuff up. I feel so bad. You said it's the bending over. I'm like, wait, Because like, the only thing, like when when I'm at work, I wear my faja all the time. Like I don't ever come out of my faja. Like, I don't give a fuck. Like work is just gonna see me on leggings for the rest of of 2020. A. But, you know, I have my faja, but I don't have my phone. So I have like this, like, not waist trainer, but like a compressor. Right. Because I feel like I feel better when I'm compressed. Right. You know? So, you know, I'm at work and I'm just like, bro, like, how do people like not? Because I see people like I'm so scared of getting into jeans. Yeah, because they'll mark. They'll I'm mark. so scared. Of getting into, not even like my faja. Like I put like a shirt under, <laughs> and then like, oh, I'm like OCD. Like I'm just thinking like I do not want to fuck this up and then have mm. to do it again. But I think that's the way you have to be. It's like you're proceeding with caution versus some people just think it's like a walk in the park following. You know what I'm like saying? Like ordering a damn cheeseburger in a drive I really think that they, yeah. Her and my one other friend, like I said, took it seriously, but, you know, I think not Did your one other friend come over here? <laughs> nah, she, she went to she the needs to. At the She needs to. <laughs> she needs to. Shit. No, she went to the massages at her, her doctor's office. You're a cancer, too? Whoop, whoop. Shout out to all the cancers out there, all the Tauruses, all the Sagittarius, all the Capricorns. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Not the Geminis, though. Wow. Hey, I got Geminis in my... I got... I'm on... I'm on... I'm on um, not wrong, Lord. No. <laughs> Who's a Gemini? No. Rich. I'm a Gemini. Rich is a Gemini? You would... I have moon. My moon sign. Oh. My, my, uh... My moon is in Gemini. Oh, I'm glad that everyday life is Talk to me nice. <laughs> there's there's Nicole coming out. Talk to me nice. 
I never understood that. She's a Gemini. You know, Gemini's. Um, I like me some Gemini. My mom's a Gemini. Scare me, child. Yeah, exactly. Either you better be nice to them. So you could be on the good, if not, you're in the bad, because there's no in-between with them. It's like, you're the good. That's right. Either I fuck with you, or I don't fuck with you. you I, know like, what I'm saying? I like the thrill. You like, <laughs> <laughs> you like to know which one you're going to get, because you don't know. I like my sleep with one eye open. Who's one am I going to get today? Ah! You know, like the, the moon, oh, right, when, the, when the full moon, well, the moon always has, you know, effects on our emotions, because we're made out of water, too. You know what I'm saying? So... Usually, um, all of us get super emotional when it comes to, like, the moon. Especially, um, water signs. Mm -hmm. And, uh, shout out to Pisces, bro. That's me. Hey, 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 hey. Okay. Alarm for something. Because I have her, her wedding ring in my thing, and I didn't want us to be like, oh, fuck, where is it? Oh, okay, got you. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> she has my wedding ring. <laughs> Because I could just imagine us being like, oh, fuck, where is it, where is it, where is it? Oh, right, yeah, that would probably be me. Like, like where's my phone at? Oh, you're using it. <laughs> <laughs> That's how you funny. get a second one. A second one? Wedding ring? Yeah, just in case. What oh, the fuck? Oh she got two. A backup. You got the fucking backup. I got the upgrade. <laughs> you gotta get the and upgrade. got the little baby one, and then you got the bling bling. Yep. That's literally what she has. You know why Richie <laughs> bought that ring though? Why? Because one the time, one or the first one? no, one time I went out to eat. What's your man's name? Richie. Shout out to Richie <laughs> for getting her two rings, man. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> one, one time I went out to eat, like with my homegirls. Um, actually, I was, I was, I think I was meeting y'all at Yard House. And, no, we never went to Yard House. And I was standing outside. And some dude was like trying to talk to me, right? And I was like, I, you know how like you point at me? Like, She's like, I was like, no, man. He's like that little ass right Oh shit! <laughs> Shut up! And he told Rich, and he went and got so you another one. I went one. home. The next oh. day, he's like, we're about to go get your bigger ring. Oh, thank you. Uh, just use what she just used for your man's oh, or, you know what I'm saying, your fiance. Be like, baby, some dude tried to holla at me and I showed him my ring and he was like, yo, that little baby shit? What the fuck? Come get with a real man. Make sure you get a rock. He was just sour because my regular ring ain't no baby ring, but oh, this shit. nigga didn't go to monster. No. Oh, you're going to stink down to the fucking ocean. <laughs> So I was that's like, hilarious. okay, I was like, I guess, you know, I'm going to do some time. He's like, yeah, no fuck niggas can tell you nothing else. Hey, okay, <laughs> shit. That's, that's, the, that's the mood we want to be in. Yo, Rich flex so hard. He's the only thing. He's the whole thing. He's the whole thing. He's flexing. <laughs> that's good, though. He, he, he threw down that black A-mix. Boom. <laughs> if you see him, you're like, all right, this nigga about to P.I.T. He about to fix up here. But she so said he's IT. I can't with you. Mouth. I can't with you. You said. <laughs> it's true. Why try my dog? Yo! He better not be watching no damn this live, yo. He probably is. I think it's on his phone. Yeah. <laughs> oh, shit. Thanks for the rock. For real. Oh, my God. Yo, that was funny. <laughs> it's true, though. I mean, he's he, he about to go say some shit, but. <laughs> Oh my god, Rich is hilarious. Oh, I still gotta send that email to you. Okay, hold on. You know how they go and inquire outside about some friends? What do you mean? From the office, remember I said I had called, like, the, the nurses? Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. They still haven't called you back? No. Can these people please return this patient's call back? Like, what the heck? Since before Thanksgiving. Since before Thursday? Holy shit. No, oh, before Thanksgiving. Before, before Thanksgiving, that. Damn. Damn, uh, that's been like almost two weeks already. Yeah. I was like, all right, I guess I'll just Google this shit. Oh my God. Yeah. So, do you have any advice for any new girls that are coming into the surgery community? Um, I would just say that, you see, a lot of the girls think that they need to change their eating and like went to a diet right away, no. And also, you know, like the upkeeping, I think like that's the most important part. So like, if you're gonna save enough money to have your surgery, I would say save enough money to have your surgery twice because the massages, and don't just go to like people's houses for a massage because also, you know, like your body is 
very like weak at that point you don't want to go to nowhere that's not sanitary and it's kind of like your clothes like you wouldn't go to fucking bds and get yourself a like a bomb ass outfit so you wouldn't go to somebody's house and i mean and get a massage like you gotta invest in yourself you know it's mm-hmm. like it's not cheap but i mean you you pay what you get for so quality and like that's your body so like if you want your body looking like trash then yeah go anywhere but invest in yourself yep that's the most important part so like if you're gonna have money to do the surgery you gotta have the money to upkeep it and don't just go anywhere because it's cheap if you would have um, done things a little bit differently, what would you have done differently? Not go to my doctor's office for the massages, that's for sure. Can I tell you, it's like backtrack. I'm, what, five weeks now? Yeah. The progress that you had in, what, in three massages? Yeah, and that's and that's, that's once a week. I didn't even get you back to back. Yeah, I could have had that, like, on day three of me coming over here, like, yeah. on day three. So, I would just say, like, do your research on the massages. If you're going to be, like, for people out of town. For example, like, like because you, you know how some clinics, they say, oh, massages are complimentary. What would you, what would you say about that? Don't take that shit. Repeat that again one more time. Don't take the free massages because you get, you get in the free. You pay for you Sorry, get, I just came back. You get in the, you <laughs> get in the for free. free. You're gonna get this in your back. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> she did it. She said the trickles. Yeah. The trickles. Spirit. I mean, adventure. honestly, for what you're gonna get for free, you might as well massage yourself and save whatever money that they think that they're saving you. Or the and, time. Yeah, or the time. Have your man rub on you for a little bit. Yeah. Cause or your bestie. Yeah. She probably could have done a better job. No, nah, I mean, that shit you showed me was like, what? That's not even a dip tissue. Tissue massage, yeah, man. Yeah, I would say definitely. Oh, and call here ahead of time because that's the only reason why I didn't come here. Oh, yeah, she waited to the last minute. Yeah. And then we didn't have any availability. Because it's not that I didn't want to come here. I just was shit out of luck. <laughs> Basically. But after my third massage, wherever else, I came here. Because yeah. I had the time. And I drive an hour to come here. No, I drive an hour to come well, here. Well, whatever. Okay. Somebody will Same drive you thing. an hour. Same <laughs> thing. Somebody will drive you an hour to come here. I'm telling you. But. You won't regret it. No. You will not regret it. Yeah, like, even, like, the little tips that you gave me, like, with the ice cream and milkshakes. Like, I have seen, like, a difference right away. Like, my booty was going, I mean, my body was eating the fat up. And then, screw we came back up. Boom! Actually, I was going to tell you, but I wasn't sure if you were one of those girls that didn't like the fat booty. And then I was like, okay, I can't say, I can't no, tell I her, got, oh, your I ass got, got fatter. Because I've said that before and I've made girls cry. And I'm oh, like, oh my no. God, did I say something bad? Yeah. And it's because they're like, I didn't want it this big. I'm like, oh, okay, I'm I'm sorry. Are they looking like? No. <laughs> I got brought She's like, wait, there. you must not live in Miami if you don't want a fat ass, bro. <laughs> like, real talk, because you know, you must be from like Missouri or some shit. You're from Arkansas. Arkansas. Arkansas.